cell phones in the hands of inmates is an issue Department of Corrections Director Brian Sterling is calling a chief security threat. And he's hopeful for that to all change, beginning with a conversation tomorrow in Washington, D.C. Physically incarcerated, but virtually connected. Prisons were built to keep people in, not keep things out necessarily. Now we're under attack from the outside. Cell phone contraband allows inmates to continue their criminal ways from behind bars. And now drones make it even easier for prisoners to get their hands on the devices. Our folks just fly things in, they drop the package and they take off. They don't have to actually risk running up to the fence. South Carolina DOC Director Brian Sterling says the department is installing millions of dollars of nets over their prisons, even hiring local deputies to patrol the prisons from the outside. But it comes at a cost. We're, we're spending all this money and doing all this stuff, all these resources that could go to the salaries of our correctional officers. It could go to rehabilitation of the folks that are incarcerated. Unfortunately, it has to go to these preventative measures to keep our prisons safe. The problem is growing. WIFF News 4 investigates found cell phones account for one third of the contraband South Carolina prison officials seized in 2017. It's just a danger. It's something that needs to be stopped and there's simple technology out there that can stop it. That technology, cell phone micro jamming, which essentially prevents wireless communication within a particular area. And Director Sterling tells me he feels optimistic heading into tomorrow's meeting with the FCC. However, if the outcome is not what he was hoping for, he tells me he'll go directly next to U.S. Congress and look to them to change the law on cell phone micro jamming. We're in Columbia, Madeline Hackett, WIFF News 4.